Hi everyone, welcome to Last Week on Xbox One. I'm your host, Uncle Jesse, and each week we cover the top submitted posts over on the Xbox One subreddit. Starting things off this week, user CM Glassmeyer posted a screenshot of a new Xbox One feature called Trending on Xbox Live, which one of the top trending pieces was a photo of some boobs. God, that was really bad. Uh, I was trying to do an Honest Trailers impersonation there. I just don't have the voice for it. Regardless though, it, you know, it's, I don't know if they're gonna find a way to filter out this, but I don't know if they can. It's part of something that's in a game that we can play on an Xbox and it's just so happens a lot of people are voting that they like it. Go figure, boobs are trending. Major and Nelson stopped by to make an announcement that there are a lot of new features coming to preview members. If you're not sure what that is, there's a program that's available on the Xbox One where you can get access to new features to test them out and provide feedback about a month before they're officially released to everybody. Some of these features include seeing who's in a new party, your gamer score leaderboard, being able to rearrange pins offline. Hello, we were just talking about this an episode or two ago. Including being able to hide games that are listed as ready to install in your game section. Thank you, thank you for that one. I can finally clean up that section. That's just a few of the items. Make sure to check out Major Nelson's blog for a full listing of the new features that are available to test. Who wants some more backward compatible games? Because we just got some more. User I'm Dying You Idiot posted the announcement of the 10 new games that are available through the backward compatibility program. The other big announcement is that they'll be releasing these games as they become available instead of holding them together and releasing them one month at a time. I know there's some games that people are still waiting on becoming available through backwards compatibility, myself included. Looking forward to playing some Alan Wake again. But hopefully this will increase the consistency that we'll get them as well as the amount of games that are coming out as part of this program. Also, just as a side note, you can download The Witcher 2 through backward compatibility right now. Even if you haven't previously owned the game, go and check it out and you can download it now. It's available to everyone. So I'll include a link down below where you can go and play that. It's an awesome, awesome game. Or so I've been told, never actually played it yet. And speaking of backward compatibility games, Dr. Feelgood posted that Deus Ex Human Revolution is available to download right now over on your Xbox One. So head on over to the Xbox Marketplace or click on the link down below in my description where you can download your copy of Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's part of the Games with Gold for the month of January 2016. Sounds like Tim Schafer might be interested in bringing Brutal Legend over to the Xbox One through backward compatibility. User Shots Shots posted this tweet from somebody asking Tim Schafer if he'd be interested in it and he said, yeah, of course I'd be interested in it. So it doesn't sound like it's actively in the works, but it sounds like he'd be open for it. I mean, I honestly have not played any of his games, um, sadly, I should say, uh, since Full Throttle on the PC days, back when I was a teenager. Uh, so hopefully Brutal Legend makes its way on over. I'd actually love to play that game, never tried it out, always looked fun, and it looked like it was a really cool visual game for the Xbox. All right, you guys, that was this week's show. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave me some feedback down below. Uh, as usual, make sure to head on over to the reddit.com slash r slash Xbox One subreddit to stay on top of all the latest Xbox One news and trends. Just as a heads up, we have an AMA going on with the developers of Layers of Fear, which looks absolutely terrifying. I've seen a few videos and I don't know if I can actually play this game. That AMA will be going on on Tuesday, so make sure to stop on by to ask them any of your questions. And as usual, I'm gonna leave you guys with a top submitted post from one year ago this week, which was from Richard Ramrod, who's kindly asking everyone to mute your connect when you're playing your games because no one wants to hear your wife nagging you or your kids crying or your mommy asking you to do your homework. All right, you guys, that was this week's show. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye now.